And we start, start off tonight with a semi-pro fight. Steve Brinkman from the Canadian top team uh, in the red corner versus Chris Marsden from Leeds Cage in the blue corner. Right, we should have Ajay Bradley join us for the commentary. Afternoon, Lee. How are you? Yeah, good, good. Looking forward to this scrap. I think this could be a classic striker versus wrestler. What do you reckon? Oh, I think so. I've seen uh, Steve fight on this show twice before. And as you know, mate, uh, people, when they haven't fought a wrestler before, oh. it's hard to deal with. So yeah. we'll, see, we'll see if this guy can scramble or sweep or how prepared he is for this fight. So. That was a huge takedown. Um, he's just hanging on at the moment. He probably wants to look to try and escape. I think Steve's probably going to look to work to get free and maybe work a submission off the ground and pound. Oh, well, mate, seems to be holding on pretty tight. It's going to wear him out. So. I haven't seen a lot of Steve's fights. Um, not, not as much as you have. He seems pretty relaxed. He's just going to hold on to side control there and see if he can come up with something in the scramble. It's, it's really going to be up to Chris here to, to make something happen because this is, this is Steve's world. It's worth noting that the rules for, for this semi-pro fight do allow strikes to the head on the ground as well, which is quite, it's quite unusual for semi-pro fights. Yeah, you can see what's going to happen here. There's a suplex. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go for a ride. <laughs> oh! There it comes. Well, well called there. Yeah. He's got me up. Uh, Chris is, Chris is going to be in some trouble here. He needs to work his way up the cage and, and try and find an escape. Or This could be... Yeah, here he goes. He's going to work the cage. Well done. Yeah. He, he might, might, might be able to kick him over. Yeah. Steve's got pretty good base. He wrestled quite a bit in, uh, in college, I'm told. Yeah. He's a, I watched him on the last show, and he, his wrestling was good, and his conditioning as well. He came into the fight. I seen him at the weigh-in, and he was, he was in good condition. Yeah. Um, it's going to be hard to be on the bottom for three fives, I think, and if, unless you can come up with something. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he really needs to start intelligently de defending himself. He was trying to use his feet to come out the back door, but I, I don't think that's what all technique's going to work on. Uh, he's, he's, oh, he's setting oh, up, set up an arm, arm bar. bar here. And he, he's given he's, the arm. Oh, he's given it. He might, be, he might be confident in escaping it, I think. Yeah. He looks to purposely be giving it up. Playing, playing cat and mouse. <laughs> Seen that happen before? Yeah, could be a, could be a bait. But um, Steve oh, seems pretty content oh. to, they, they, to those stand him out. Shots. There it is. Here, here we there go, it here is. We go. And he's escaped. He's oh, I thought he might have had a, an armbar escape. He looked yeah, what, he looked what, pretty confident. But well called there, Jai. It's going to be hard to hard to recover from those blows earlier. Oh, I wish him the best, but this this is going to be hard to come back from. Yeah, he passed the guard again. I can't see this round being oh, he, much more than. And um, a dom dominant display on top by Steve from uh, Canadian top team. Well, if if Chris can ride the round out, yeah. then it, it, it starts again on the feet. He is in trouble here. I, I wouldn't advise striking from the bottom. I would be looking at... Oh, that's it's a been good waved call. off. That's a good call. So Steve Brinkman wins by ground and pound in the first. That was always going to, very close to being a 10-8 round. Even if it did go to the next round, Steve would have had to win the next two rounds or come out with a...